let's get it started uh, in, in here. In here, which originally was let's get retarded. Yeah. People forget that, that the black eyed peas. Just one small change mm-hmm. makes a massive. You're allowed to have mainstream success. Massive hit. I can't wait until some woke dumbass discovers that about the black eyed peas. That the song was actually Let's Get Retarded. Yeah. Uh huh. And then they go after Reggie Watts because they think Reggie Watts was in Black Eyed Peas. I think he was, right? He yeah. was the Native American yeah. guy. <laughs> there was the police officer, the construction worker, and yes. the whore. The whore. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was yeah. the whore character. Um, Stolen Valor guys should really get mad at the village people, right? I think you've said that before. I think I have. I think at least twice you've said it, actually. Maybe. And I <laughs> might maybe tweeted it. I'm trying to get you know, that bit to come, on, come, you know, c- come together, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I bitch. think that they should get mad at uh, the mailmen that wear those pith helmets. <laughs> Like the mailmen that are like, yeah, I'm. I deliver mail, but I, I'm also in World War One. I'm a World War One vet. That's why I'm wearing a four year old boy's shorts and a pith helmet. They look like that guy that came through from the jungle world in Jumanji. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. The, the, the hunter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't he also? Didn't he also play Robin Williams' dad in the movie, The Hunter? In Jumanji? Yeah. I don't know. That guy played two roles. They got a know. Uchumanji coming where the lady's got her titties out. I've, I always felt bad for that guy. They're like, oh, wow, you know, Robin Williams has been trapped in Jumanji for, since childhood, but that guy just lives in Jumanji. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, Isn't he a fake character, though? Is he real? Is it like die? the holodeck in Star Wars? Or all, Star I Trek? Remember, all I remember from Jumanji is the boy goes missing and then some other kids play a game and then there's fucking elephants. Yeah, the they house. come into the house and it makes a big mess. Yeah. My parents hated movies like that. They wouldn't let me watch movies where like the house got messy. Did you ever have any like <laughs> adult movies that you watched as a kid that you, for whatever reason you interpreted as children's movies? And you, like I watched, I used to watch War of the Roses all the time, <laughs> which is about divorce. But it's like, yeah, they trash the house. That's a kid movie. Doesn't someone kill someone in that? They, I think they kill each other. The chandelier falls on them. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Jeez, yeah. Louise. Yeah, we uh, rented uh, the Steve Martin reboot of cheaper by the dozen mm. and my uh my father had to turn it off because they were making too much of a mess in the house he said <laughs> these people don't have any control there's nothing cheaper about this <laughs> i thought this was going to be a movie where things are cheaper <laughs> <laughs> it's steve martin getting really good deals on furniture yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the movie i wanted to see is a movie where things are cheaper than they normally are <laughs> <laughs> Guess for 75 cents a gallon <laughs> <laughs> Petrol It's petrol Petrol, right? petrol. <laughs> Petroleum uh, Petrol heads They got weird names for car shit in England like What they, else? The hood of the car is called the bonnet, bonnet. Yeah, the, the, bonnet? Trunk, the trunk is the boot The hood is the bonnet Wow Yeah That's yeah. stupid Boots And a cab thing. is a lorry Yeah lorry. No a lorry is a truck A lorry is a truck? A lorry is a truck So what's a cab? A cab is a taxi. A schizomaru? No. It's a lob dobbler. That would be Australia. Uh, what's, wait, what are we talking about? We're talking about how y- London? England, England has dumb names for car stuff. Merry old England? Yeah. Instead of a lug wrench, they call it a wheel brace. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> wow. wow. And they say petrol. Wow, which yeah, I didn't realize how fucking expensive gas was. Yeah, because it's liter. And yeah, it's done by liter. So you like you, you don't get a gallon. You get like a fucking, you know, this. This is how much gas you get. Yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. by liter, and it's like fucking six six pounds. Well, because gas in the United States is heavily subsidized mm-hmm. by the government. Yeah, it's like one of the things they don't tax it. Um, what do you mean? It is tax. There is a gas tax. No, I think just England then the taxes, taxes it, what taxes the tits off it. It was subsidized in what sense? In the United States? Yeah, that they don't tax it enough. It's subsidized. No, I think that it's like cheaper because it's subsidized. So the government pays to have the oil come here. Yeah, they pay. The, I don't know. I don't fucking. No, know. that didn't I, sound right. I well, then in what way is it subsidized? They're losing money. I think that. Well, we have oil. We have reserves. We have massive like government reserves <laughs> mm-hmm. of oil. 
So. Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking yeah, you don't about. Know I don't want to. I don't want to talk all, about this at all. I <laughs> said know? I think. In, in, I uh, think means I don't have to qualify whatever I just said. In Mexico, tortillas are subsidized. Are they? Yeah, yeah. You can like if you know you get food stamps here. They just were like, well, you can have the tortillas, <laughs> <laughs> which I, I guess makes sense. You know. Oh yeah. You know, if you're Mexican, you probably just want to eat nothing but fucking burritos. Yeah, well, because in Mexico, it's actually the corn industry got destroyed by NAFTA. Dude, how much of- must it suck to live in a country and you're only allowed to eat one type of food? I know. Dude. So people are like, you know, oh well, you haven't had real Indian food until you go to India, and it's like, yeah, I'm sure it's pretty fucking good, but I don't want to eat Indian food every single fucking day. <laughs> You know? Yeah, it's What true. if you live in India and you want a fucking, you know, you want a some fettuccine? A stromboli. St- yeah, you want a fucking... A, st- a, st- a slice of pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get a Domino's pizza. You want to get a roast beef for sand. You want to go to McDonald's <laughs> and get a Big Mac of a McDonald's. <laughs> and the Panera. I guess Panera is Italian McDonald's. Panera. Right? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. No. There's nothing Italian about Panera. It's called Panera. The name. Panera is Italian for bread. Oh, shit. I think so. Isn't that ciabatta? No, that's a type of bread. It's a type of bread. Yeah. What about uh, yeah, Panera baguette. fucking sucks, dude. Oh, yeah, dude. Panera sucks, dick. Can you imagine what? It's wa- terrible. Yeah. yeah it's well, can- it's, it's not like it. They're like, we make all the bread. It's like, yeah, that's the least important part of yeah, the sandwich. Yeah, that's Subway, yeah. too. The rest of this shit is fucking frozen. No, but yeah. Subway says we make the bread, and the bread sucks dick. They make it in that's the microwave. That's the worst <laughs> fucking part of your sandwich. Like, yeah. It is why very are bad. bragging about that? Yeah. yeah. That shit's fucking like a sponge, dude. Mm-hmm. Why is every subway owned by an Indian family? Did you notice Uh-oh. that? It's because they that? got tired of eating Indian food, dude. Probably. <laughs> and Dunkin' Donuts. A lot of Indians. Yeah. A lot we of are, Indians own Dunkin' Donuts. Not only will too. we not have to eat Indian food anymore, we will find a way where we can eat Subway sandwiches every day. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how it happened. Have I talked about... Have you seen this? In Mexico City, there's like a massive problem. I love the sweet onion chicken teriyaki yeah, so much. It's <laughs> <laughs> an Indian guy dreaming about going yeah, to America. Really, it's kind of offensive. that, that, that What's almost worse than the, the child molestation is that Subway had a white man as their spokesperson <laughs> instead of some Bangladeshi guy. Yeah. It's like, please do not ask for too many toppings. <laughs> If you are a black teenager, please do not take advantage of the free topping station. <laughs> Dude, have you ever been in line behind a black teenager at Subway? No. Oh, man, they get to that fucking condiment thing. Hilarious. And it's like, all right, reparations. <laughs> <laughs> no, more pickles. I'm going to give you all the pickles. <laughs> like, that's not even going to taste good. You have three cups of olives. <laughs> On your sandwich. Well, clearly you've never been to Chipotle with me. Yeah, oh, you go oh, buck yeah. wild. Oh yeah. Well, but they charge you for all that shit in Chipotle. No, not not. I know it's free. Yeah, oh, yeah. The corn yeah. is free. The corn is free. I double the down sour on corn. cream's free. The cheese is free. Um, there was a day where oh, they that ran- just happens to be all the shit that I get. I guess mm. I've never. I don't want any. The I guacamole hate, is two dollars. I don't like cents. guacamole. You don't like. You don't guacamole? like. Guacamole? I feel like I, guacamole is like rice. It sucks up the flavor of whatever you're eating and like deteriorates the overall quality. Of I don't know. It's creamy and nice. That's crazy. You ever put too dude. much rice in something? Like you make uh, like uh, gumbo and you put too much rice in it, it ruins it. Yeah, but you don't don't do that. Just don't do it. Just yeah. get the right amount. So don't put any guacamole in put it. Put a little bit of guacamole. Nah, You're saying that guacamole looking, is essentially flavorless? Yeah. It uh, it has like a musky sort of flavorless taste. It's just what? a texture that people enjoy. I, I, I disagree whole ass. I think it's got a flavor dude. to we it. We got lime. We got fucking... That's lime. We got fucking salt. In the guacamole. Guacamole. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I just mean avocado and avocado derivatives in general. I don't yeah, think. you don't fuck with avocado. Yeah, I know. But I, I mean, I'll put like just lime juice. Dude, something. you're going to suffer if you ever go to California because they yeah. can't get enough of that avocado Well, stuff. that's how it fucking was in Texas, man. Everything you would order, it was like, and we got we put avocado in it and you can't <laughs> even take the avocado out because it, <laughs> it's built into the silverware. I fucking love me some avocado, dude. That good fat. You know? I think it's delicious. I did an audition for avocados. Oh, for like the auditions. avocado board? For Yeah, avocados of Mexico. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a stupid fucking commercial. What was the commercial? I don't know. I guess like, they want you to be like an alien and like the aliens explaining like all these like treasures they found on Earth. And it's like, here's, this is, I don't know. 
I mean, this is why I didn't get the audition. I read it and I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> this is, commercial auditions are so fucking stupid, dude. Dude, I just want one. I want to be the fat guy. Yeah, that's what everybody thinks. You're like, oh, I, I would be great to have a commercial agent because you know you just get one and you make like fifty thousand dollars. But I've probably been to like forty auditions. I've gotten three callbacks ever. The one time I ever booked anything, they fucking gave me a down. They edited my face out of it <laughs> so that they could just pay me the session fee again. What was it? It was a Motorola commercial. Oh, true, right, right. Yeah, there was one. Th- the one, oh, the only time I ever went on an audition and I did real well, like the, where the casting director was like, "Wow, that was fucking great." You know, uh, you know, we'll be in touch or whatever. Uh, Taylor Ketchum went in right after me, and they're like, "Wow, you're even better than the last guy." <laughs> and Taylor Ketchum got it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you warmed him up for Taylor. <laughs> yeah, which was for the uh, was I, I don't know I don't I don't want to fucking violate any kind of NDA thing he signed, but it was like it's a pretty cool thing that he got. Yeah. Oh damn! Yeah, Star it Wars. wasn't a it wasn't a commercial. Yeah, he's Star Wars. He's using young Han Solo. Yeah, he's the Han Solo. Yeah, he's he's the new black the Darth black. Vader. <laughs> really? Yeah, Princess Leia is black now, and she's got a dick. Oh whoa! She's uh, it's G, G Leia. <laughs> she's got a dick on her forehead, and she's it looks black. Does it hang all the way down so she can suck yeah. it? Well, it bobbles when she speaks. <laughs> oh, it, that's cool. Yeah, it looks. She looks black, but she's Chinese. Oh, so oh. that's very uh, interesting. Yeah, and take, Taylor is take playing that it. Reddit. <laughs> <laughs> if you had a dick just bobbling, would you suck it soft mm. on my forehead? Yeah. How could anyone be mad at anything Star Wars does? <clears throat> I really don't I get people that like to claim some kind of cultural ownership of Star Wars. Because they're, they're fucking like, well, stupid, dude. I was a nerd and that movie was important. It's like everyone fucking watched Star Wars. I know, dude. That's not a nerd thing. Absolutely. The nerd not. thing are the guys who are upset that like the Green Hornet was a shitty movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Those yeah. are nerds. <laughs> The people that knew what the fuck, you know. Yeah, they're talking about casting on like a CW Flash yeah, minor character. Right. Uh-huh. The people that watch Gotham. Yeah. That show that's about literally the show Gotham is. Well, that's what still if, a Batman. Show. What if? But but it's what, what if, if there was, there was, was no Batman? No Batman? Yeah. It's like that's the only good part of the fucking shit. It's like that's literally like going to Subway and be like, let me just get the fucking sandwich. Mm-hmm. Let me just get the bread <laughs> with fucking a little sweet onion chicken teriyaki sauce in there. I want pizza. No cheese or sauce. <laughs> Just bake me a fucking... Uh, bake me some dough. I mean, can you imagine watching Gotham? <laughs> that shit seems so gay. And they have like a new Joker and he's... It's like Heath Ledger's the fucking cool joke, the coolest Joker. Stop making Jokers. Anyway, fuck Gotham. Yeah, I'm like, but in, even in the Batman world, aren't like the police and everybody else like completely incompetent? Yeah. <laughs> like I, I understand that Batman has like superpowers or whatever. He has no superpowers. He's just rich. All right. Well, I understand that Batman is a superhero, but like I think the police would be able to handle a guy that just like loved riddles. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I don't think they would be like, ah, he fuck, he tricked us because we no, didn't know the their answer cons- was the Sphinx or whatever. Yeah, yeah. They're constrained by their rules, you know? Know, like the constitution holds them back but oh. batman doesn't have to worry about any of that he's like yeah. uh he's like uh the zero dark 30 you know he can he can do torture zero dark people was yeah. my parody of that movie yeah <laughs> just no no black <laughs> yeah they have to go kill all the dark people <laughs> what's the cutoff for dark um light-skinned puerto rican yeah southern <laughs> southern european <laughs> Whoa, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. I, I do a lot of gerrymandering when it comes to uh, figuring out which races are considered dark or not. Okay. You know, because even Northern Italians, they're they're lighter than I am, but they're still Italian, so. That's true, yeah. They're trash. Yeah. They're trash people. Yeah, plus, like, there's that weird Russian, that weird region of the world that's, like, between Russia and Asia, like, all these weird Mongolian-looking motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. What are mm-hmm. they, man? I don't, well, like, I don't Kazakhs? like Kazakhs, yeah. Yeah, got fucked up those are Asian. People. I was in a community college class behind this giant Kazakh dude that was like very like you know happy to be in America mm-hmm. and tell people like oh you know I'm come here I'm like pursuing my education. It was right when Borat came out and I was like man have you seen Borat? <laughs> He's like yes that's not a very accurate movie and I was like 
Uh, you guys are how they all kill that Jew. <laughs> and he was like, but that doesn't actually happen in Kazakhstan. And he's like, my wife. And I, I would only talk to him about Borat, and he would get so frustrated. Oh yeah, the whole the government yeah. got really upset. The yeah. Kazakh government. Well, he couldn't tell that I was fucking with him. Oh yeah, he, I, he thought I was just some dumb guy that only wanted to talk about Borat, <laughs> and he would get like so depressed speaking to me. That guy's a fucking doctor now. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, he tried to tell me something about Kazakhstan. I'd be like, remember when Borat fucking. Yeah, when he yeah. raped his, talks about raping his sister yeah. <laughs> when his retarded brother rapes his sister <laughs> I got a haircut from age of consent raised to seven <laughs> <laughs> my favorite Borat thing is a fucking uh, uh, one of the deleted scenes he's getting a massage like a, from a real masseuse just some yeah. guy and uh and he tries to get the guy to give him a happy ending. It's like a massage therapist, is a straight man. <laughs> and, but he, this is how method this motherfucker is. He was hard as shit. <laughs> like he somehow conjured a boner for a bit, and he tried to get. Like I wonder if he, if the guy would have started jerking him off, if he would have stopped him. That's like I don't know the answer to that fucking question. You gotta respect that dude. Yeah, he's the, one of the greatest comedians of all time, dude. And he has a girl's name, you know. Yeah. That's why it became imagine? so funny. That's right, Sasha. I got a haircut from an Uzbek woman once, and I forgot she said Uzbek, and I said Kazakh later in the haircut, and she got so upset at me. <laughs> it was not. It was not an acceptable mistake to make. Are they? Do they beef with each other? Apparently, yeah. yeah. Well, the, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm sure. I don't know anything about it, but I would imagine that all the Stan countries think one yeah, is worse yeah, than the other. Yeah, Turkmenistan, Kazakhstan, the Tajiks. Tajikistan. Yeah, because yeah. well, all all the like uh, Pakistan too, hey, Afghanistan. All, well, in Afghanistan, all the like northern warlords were just from different Stan countries. Oh shit! Yeah. Yeah. And they all have uh, child boyfriends. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It is funny how they all they all just fuck boys. Yeah, yeah. And apparently, like that's the porn that like people look at the most in those countries it's so funny how they told the army to just ignore that yeah (laughs) (laughs) they're like army guys were coming into their commander and they were like you know uh, they're raping a bunch of boys and they're like yeah we know about that shit (laughs) (laughs) look nobody's uh, perfect (laughs) look man at least they're not taliban we shouldn't even have been here in the first (laughs) place you know <laughs> they just come in there fucking right. commanding officers getting sucked off by a little boy I mean look they're, they're the, more, the, the, more, the more those boys get raped the less room they have in their hearts to hate America when they get older <laughs> so the way I see it <laughs> see no evil hear no evil <laughs> smell no evil yeah man I I I I, I guess that um what was I going to say? They're using our technology to rape those boys. You know? What do you mean? Our taxpayer dollars are going Chris to Chris Hansen? I would love to see a Chris Hansen Afghanistan <laughs> episode. <laughs> he just immediately yeah. gets shot. Mahmood, why don't you tell me what you're doing here? <laughs> okay. Uh, you brought it, You brought the, uh, the, the, uh, the textiles, you know, and the condoms. We asked you to bring textiles and the goat's milk. You got a six pack of goat's milk. <laughs> I mean, these fucking these chat transcripts are pretty damning, my mood. <laughs> uh, fuck, Chris, he would just get raped by them. Yeah. What's Hansen up to these days? Did he ever? Did he have a career post? No, they found out he was fucking kids. No. I mean, that would make so much sense. That would be awesome. I yeah, thought they I, did. Yeah. No, I no. really did. That would that wrong. would make sense. That would be the best news of all time. Yeah, I fucking hated that show when that show was on. That show, that show was that show up. was garbage. Dude. It was creepy, dude. Well, it's, it's not that it was creepy. It's that it was always all this posturing is like you know, this is real journalism. You know, this is fucking. I know it's on prime time, but like this is fucking hard hitting. We're finding these people and exposing them, and we're really doing some good. And like even the police can't do this stuff. And it's like, no, you're exploiting pretend children. You know, yeah. uh, for views to you know sell ad space and commercials, and they would read the transcripts where he's like, "Yeah, I want you to pull down your little mm-hmm. your diapers and let yeah, me yeah, suck yeah. off your cock," yeah. and they would just read that and like blur out cock, and it's like, 
<laughs> what the fuck? Why is this on television? Right. We know they're trying to fuck kids. Why are you telling us? Yeah, exactly? because that's what they do. Well, it also it's like part of the fucking attitude that m- makes you know uh, sexual assault directed at children like continue to be a fucking problem is because the answer for somebody if they're a pedophile because like again no one would choose to be a pedophile, you know. Like it's some some fucked up thing happened in your head that you became yeah. a pedophile, and the only solution now is to just like uh, sort of ignore it and lie to everybody <laughs> until you have an accident. Yeah. You know, and the only thing that really works that like uh, has any impact on recidivism rates is uh, chemical castration. But there's no Jesus option. Jesus Christ, which That's sounds it? a lot worse than it is. It's just Depo Provera shots. So you just never get to fuck. No, you just it's 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 uh, it's hormone suppression therapy. You get a shot like once every six months or yeah. something, and then it kills your sex drive. And it's it doesn't affect you. You know, it's not like you're gonna fucking grow tits or anything. Uh, but they can't. I, I don't think there's an option anywhere for somebody. There's no like intervention program or like a public intervention program where somebody could recognize that they have a problem and there's right. a safe way for them to contact states authorities or advocacy groups that are like, yeah, hey, we'll get you this medicine because group therapy doesn't talk or doesn't work. You know, group group talk therapy sessions don't work. Uh, monitoring these people don't work. Uh, giving them even like just letting them beat off the child porn doesn't work. There's like literally nothing that works other than like chemical intervention. <laughs> Imagine like the government office where all the child porn is kept. <laughs> like they, you do, they, do you mean the FBI? <laughs> yes, dude. The fucking FBI. Yeah, they got they, libraries. They raided. Of it. They raided. <laughs> what? Dude, yeah. the FBI raided this website Playpen two years ago. Uh-huh. This like huge child like Hilarious pedophile. Name, by the way, yeah. They, <laughs> Playpen. They raided like this <laughs> this server and they took down this like big child porn website. And then instead of just downing the website, they kept running it for another eleven months and like up. Uploading new child porn and like Jesus uh, Christ. to like catch more Someone's people. Job was to be the webmaster yeah, yeah, of yeah. a child porn website. Yeah, no, for like eleven months, the FBI ran a child porn website. Whoa, dude! Yeah. There were definitely FBI guys beating off the child porn. Yeah. Oh yeah, you no, know that who happened. That, who dude. the guy was? James who? Comey. Was yeah, running yeah. It was James Comey. <laughs> yeah, um, James oh. Comey. He, James Comey. Uh, yeah, for, that uh, was his first job before he ruined her. Uh, yeah. Her, well, I used to follow this kind of shit. Like, this is one of the good things uh, that they have on Reason. Like, you know, mm-hmm. Reason. Reason's like very good with uh, like a- anything sex related, cultural sex related, and how it you know interfaces with like. Uh, the judicial system reason is pretty good um, but then you know their next article is like this is why seatbelts should uh, we should get rid of seatbelts yeah. and five year olds <laughs> should work in factories yeah. you know? uh, but uh, they they had fucking uh, they, they, they covered the story of some kid in northern Virginia who sent his girlfriend like a picture of his dick and his girl they were both like 15 year olds right mm-hmm. and the girl's father found it and he's like oh, oh you fu- you Slut, bitch. <laughs> like, <laughs> fucking no. I'm only supposed to yeah, fuck you. Yeah. And so he calls the police because his daughter's 15-year-old boyfriend Holy is like shit. sexting with her. And the police go and arrest the kid. They, I think they arrested the girl, too, for re- like Christ. receiving child pornography Holy or whatever. Whoa. They arrest the son, for or the 15-year-old boy, for like manufacturing it. Hell yeah, dude. And then the, uh, the, the detective in charge of the investigation against the boy... They went to a hospital and he filed a court order to have the boy forcibly injected with pill or like what? chemicals that would make him get an erection so they could take so that he could take personal pictures of the kid's dick. What the as, fuck? As evidence, yeah, the, <laughs> yeah, to, to prove that it matched. And then, uh, of course. Like twelve months later, <laughs> holy shit! Uh, that detective was caught with child pornography, and he shot himself in the head. That's incredible. Yeah, he was just a fu- of course, like uh, of course. Uh, I have to make yeah. sure it's his dick, right? <laughs> yeah. like, I actually, uh, this report only saliva will actually get mm-hmm. a dick as hard as it needs to be. Yeah, I guess I'll volunteer and suck off the child. Yeah. God damn, that's fucking incredible. Yeah. No, the oh. story was fucked up, dude. God damn, poor kid. Yeah, I know. And his life is just f- like fucked. Forever, man. he just has. He's a that. sex offender. Uh, I don't. I don't know if like the district attorney's office like dropped the charges in light of that revelation. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I would hope that they would. Jesus Christ. But I mean, like that's the fucking problem with like overzealous prosecutors and shit. Yeah. And it's like 
ultimately you have these laws to protect children Mm -hmm. and it's like who are you protecting in that circumstance oh this these two kids sent naked pictures of themselves to each other let's put them in a in an adult prison where they'll be raped for the rest of their lives (laughs) and they'll come out as you know hardened criminals because they've been raped in there and then when they murder a fucking you know uh uh bank teller because they don't know what to do with their lives because they can't stop thinking about when they got all their teeth bashed in in the back of the fucking cell block. Yeah. For know. drinking his fruit punch too fast. Yeah, right. <laughs> for changing the channel on the TV. Yeah. For putting on Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> I would I would love to go to you go to that's instead of you go to prison, instead of beating up the biggest guy in there, you go in the rec room and put Arthur on the TV. <laughs> And then you just sort of like quietly beat off the DW <laughs> in front of everybody. And they're like, yeah, let's not fuck with this. <laughs> you beat, no, not, you don't beat off the DW. Beat off to that potato head kid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all animals. And then that one guy's just a potato. Yeah, yeah. what is Maybe that Maybe he's guy? a gerbil. He's a potato. Um, he's Sean Patton, really. Yeah, he does. We talked tooth, about that. Yeah. yeah. But you know who else though is the fuck is such a fucking piece of shit? That dad who gets mad that someone's fucking his daughter. Yeah. That's so weird. All that shit, like the promise ring shit, is straight up dads oh, that yeah, are just yeah. like <laughs> want to fuck their daughters. Oh it's yeah, just yeah, Donald Trump, daddy and daughter dance guys. This shit is so weird, dude. I want if I have a daughter, I want her to get fucked, dude. I want her to get fucked good and well. I'm gonna be a progressive ass dad, dude. Yeah, I, I'm. I would be a terrible parent. Oh yeah, of course. I don't see any way that I could possibly pay attention to or like feign interest in anything. Unless your kid goes viral at a young age. I think about all the dumb shit I was into that my, my like parents would, even to the extent of being like, wow, yeah, and like listening to what I was saying. And it's, I can't fucking imagine that. <laughs> a child coming home and they want to tell you about the Civil War as if you don't know what it is. <laughs> right. Not even the no, Civil man. War, dude. Well, we guess what we learned about it. It's like, yeah, I fucking know, you dumbass piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. I drove you to third grade in a car. You can't even see over the dashboard. You imbecile. Don't Dude. ever speak to me again. Ever. <laughs> Have you loved in anything in your life? You can get out of the crib when you can build your own bed. So your options are going back in the crib as a 12-year-old, or you can go out in the garage and fuck around with the power tools. And I'm turning the lights off because you don't pay for the electricity. So good luck with that fucking miter saw. What 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 have you loved in your life, Nick? What would you characterize as having loved? The Simpsons. <laughs> Is there a living thing that you ever have felt a real affection towards? No. Nothing? No. Was there a pet? Nope. No family member you had a close connection with? I mean, I guess, but you're supposed to, right? Yeah, exactly. Was, yeah. Was there ever like a favorite one that you were happy to see? No. No, never. Was there a person outside of a woman you've dated? If you take away like that weird element, is there a person you're excited to see and like hang out with? Um, no. <laughs> I'm remembering the time I saw the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile. <laughs> Was that, that cool to you? That was cool, dude. <laughs> on the Jersey Turnpike. It is pretty crazy. I, was like, sag- I had no idea what it was. And my dad was like, hey, check that out. It's the Oscar Mayer Reno Bill. I was like, what the fuck? It's a hot dog? It's a what giant hot dog? What is it? For promotional events? Yeah, it's just promotional Yeah, events. dude. It's for it's little not, kids to flip out. It's yeah, not like right. transport it. That's not how they like, transport what? the oh hot dogs. Oh, my God. I thought there was only one of them. I didn't know there was like an entire fleet. Oh, I didn't know that until right now. Yeah, they just there's drive. They, there's like 30 of them, and they just Damn. drive them around the country. It's so cool. Damn. I saw one. I had that same experience mm-hmm. and i was so fucking stoked but i thought there's only one dude yeah dude the oscar meyer is it filled with hot dogs what's no. in there and i've also found out when i was looking for a job that you need a college degree to drive it no yep to drive the oscar to drive meyer? the oscar it's actually for college students <laughs> oh it's like a, the a job, job that they yeah. could do while they're in school yeah while they're in school oh. what's inside of there dude I want to know. I thought a lot of bu- a bunch of hot dogs. They must have like a little cooler full of hot dogs. If yeah, they're going a to a promotional event, I'm sure they do. That's true. But I'm sure it's just like any other hot dog in there. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Nitrates. <bunch> <laughs> blood and maybe pr- uh, bleached feces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pig pussies. Pig mm-hmm. pussy lips. Um, damn, I used to- But honestly, fuck Oscar Mayer hot dogs, though. 
They they sucked. Yeah, Hebrew National. Yeah, baby. Hebrew yeah. National was the, the good, good shit. One, dude. Yeah, I remember I had SK I hot why. dogs one time. <laughs> <laughs> I had SK hot dogs one time. What's that? SK it's, sucks. They're like dick. the, they're the Camden Yards uh, hot dogs. Yeah, really? they were huge in Baltimore because Cal Ripken was their fucking sponsor and all the yeah. Orioles. So you want well, it. you would uh, see the fucking Michael Jordan was their sponsor. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Nationally. And uh, there. No, he was ballpark. I thought. No, he oh, was you're ballpark. Right. That was ballpark. I SK was a lot. They're called ballpark. Oh, SK was get, a lot yeah. like ball. They tasted yeah. very similar. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah. What they, they said ballpark got ballpark's bigger a little bit when better. you cooked it. Yeah. They plump. Yeah. They plump when you cook them. Like my dick, it plumps when you suck it. That yeah. doesn't make any sense. Uh, Cal Ripken was the spokesperson for Adventure World, which became Six Flags America. Oh, you shit. You remember that? I don't. Know. It was the Six Flags out in like Laurel. I remember that one. Yeah, yeah. I've been there. A ton. It used to be was it called Adventure, Ad- Adventure World. World. I and it was the their big ride was the Mind Eraser. Yes. And uh, I just have memories of Cal Ripken saying the Mind Eraser, <laughs> yeah. and then the roller coaster would go through his head. Ooh, like behind his eyes. Oh, weird. you know what? I remember that commercial. Yeah. Yeah. No, but fucking SK sucked so much dick. Yeah. But you dude. wanted them because you were a fucking. You saw Cal Ripken in that. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. we we're. Yeah, that's like 95, 96 when the oils were good as shit. Yeah. And you're like, Mom, I just begged your parents and it just tastes like dog shit. Dude, it tastes like rolled up bologna. No, I ate one one time and I was like burping up sulfur. <laughs> and I was like, well, I don't know what this experience is. And for the rest of my life, I'll have that fucking, that scent in my, I thought it was stovetop stuffing for, because I had stuffing mm. with it. I thought it was stovetop stuffing for like. Boy, that is a you one trash years. meal. You're a last year <laughs> kid, right? Stuff yeah. Stuffing. So you made hot dogs a lot for yourself? No, I, I don't, I didn't know how to cook. I mean, my mom would have to make, but I mean, she would let me pick the, you know, I mean, so that was like the meal. You, like, you couldn't cook stuffing. food for yourself before your I told your that home? story about, I mean, I could, no, usually what I would do is I would get home and just eat like nine bowls of cereal. Yeah. 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 And then that was dinner. Classic. <laughs> that was dinner. Yeah. I would go to a fucking, uh, uh, after school program. That was the only reason I wasn't a latchkey kid. I would go to the the Mora Crossman Rec Center, uh-huh. and uh, I would just fucking get in fights with white trash children. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got punched by one time because I beat these kids in ping pong, and I called them like bitches, chinks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, they were these two fat motherfuckers, and they just like I was like, ah, you guys suck. Uh, I'm smart. I was just like going in on them. You're fucking dumb. <laughs> I was the only one. I was the only one who was smart in that fucking rec center, and I was a fucking snooty piece of shit. And then I just I beat them at uh, at ping pong, and then uh, I was like, ah, fuck those guys. I just turned a corner. They just fucking. Beat the fuck out of me! <laughs> they, I was just like, they just went up a different thing, cartoon style, and just punched me. I got a big black eye, and then my dad <laughs> chased him down in a van. <laughs> he saw the kid. He saw the kid. Uh, <laughs> my dad came to pick him up. He saw the kid walking home. And he just ran up on him like Tupac, essentially. <laughs> He's like, "Hey, Joey, I kick your ass, man! You touch my son again!" <laughs> just frightened this fat <laughs> nine year old. My dad got in his fucking kid's face. It was pretty tight. That's hilarious. Yeah, my dad threatened. Uh, did he threaten any other? And then I love I that scene in kid. Bad Grandpa when he's sitting in that locker room, and he's like, "I beat up some kids today, <laughs> but it was for a purpose. <laughs> Made me feel good about myself." <laughs> Dude, that movie is so fucking funny. I it's didn't see good. it. That was uh, you saying there's something wrong with my fucking gear? <laughs> Wait, Bad Grandpa the was that bad with Johnny Santa. Knoxville? Bad Santa. Oh, bad, bad Santa. You said Bad Grandpa. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, I'm tired. I know, dude. We're in the trap. You got to go get your your surgery soon. Yeah. Are you excited to be black? Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm getting his bla- doles all uh, black and nation procedure. surgery. <laughs> yeah. You got a uh, tanning bed that's extra power, so it's permanent. <laughs> Pretty cool. Yeah, that tan mom. How about we talk about her, guys? Dude, a bad, meme from three years. Did you ago? see Bad Santa too? No. I didn't. I feel like it's got to be bad. Of course, you yeah. can't go that long. Yeah. With that, you know, unless they made the sequel right away. Also, who's clamoring for Bad Santa 2 now? I, I would have been if they, I mean, that fucking original movie was so funny. It was so dude. funny, yeah. Yeah. Full disclosure, I've never seen it. What? Very funny. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck, yeah. man. Bad Santa is like. The I'll f- check it out. Yeah. Billy Bob's a hero. If man. you really like, you know, base crude humor. Not me, dude. <laughs> there's with the, no empathy to it at all. It's not ironic. It's just fucking. No, I would hate about, something like that. Yeah, it's about a mean piece of shit. It's Wait, it's a did great you movie. did you identify with anyone in that movie? Uh no. <laughs> I don't identify with movies. It's kind of voyeuristic for you. Right. I analyze them. I it's see. like oh it becomes all matrix code. Ooh, you know? I see. It was yeah, it's all just it's fucking all the train ones and emojis. zeros and yeah. shit. What's that shit called? Binary. Binary. Well, the Matrix isn't binary. The Matrix is it's like, like Japanese. Japanese yeah. yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. 
What I love is that they use dial up to access the matrix. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, that was the technology at the time. In the yeah, two hundred years in the future, yeah, that's yeah. the technology. Yeah, dude, yeah. That's they're the gonna go back to phones. Yeah. What about how everyone says a black lady wrote that in Terminator? I oh, yeah. that's not true. Oh well, that was no. There was an insane black lady that <laughs> yeah. sued both of the you know like the studio over that shit. Yeah, and yeah, the judge was, it was like completely untrue. Ma'am, I sentence you to fifteen years in prison <laughs> for wasting our time like this. for bothering two trans people. And that lady's name, Sandra Bland. <laughs> Jesus that's how that's Christ. what happened is what i remember on, of that story is what that's how it happened <laughs> oh fuck yeah she I, said, was, I didn't do it but when everyone was doing the like say her name stuff mm-hmm. I, like six months later i just wanted to post that with like uh i'm not gonna forget you know say her name and then just post a picture of a different black lady and oh. see how many people just completely forgot what Sandra oh, Bland looked like. God. No, you wouldn't be able to tell if I if I showed I you. I think a, so. No, because they didn't really c- circulate that many pictures of her. I think I know what no. she looks like. Well, it, it was would, all about saying easy. her name. It wasn't it was about right. seeing her exactly. face. Exactly. Nobody nobody looked at her face. I looked at her face. You know who you also wouldn't be able to recognize? Probably uh, Philandro Castile. That's true. I'll yeah. give you I that could. one. I can. No, Freddie Gray. You would recognize Trayvon Philandro Martin. Cast- obviously, I think Michael Brown. You recognize? He had braids, right? Who? Philandro Castile. He had braids. I don't know. There's like three. The, you know what happens is like I feel like the media doesn't pick one picture that they like, and so they don't like. You know, you think of Trayvon, you immediately, yeah. You know, yeah. That but picture. the Mike Brown is the graduation picture. The, yeah, the graduation picture. Yeah. You know, uh, Freddie Gray. I remember just like a still from Fox News. Yeah, that yeah, they yeah. Use a lot. I think I could get Sandra, but anyway, we're gonna do a test. I'm right gonna now, look up pictures. Air? Yeah, I'm gonna look up pictures of Sandra Bland. You tell me whether it's Sandra Bland or not. Okay, sounds good. Um, <clears throat> fuck, dude. He's gonna pull up a picture of Sojourner Truth. <laughs> <laughs> this feels. This exercise feels wrong to do. No, it's not wrong. This is good comedy. You think it is? Yeah. Um, what do we do in the meantime, Adam? How's your? You're about to go on a little trip. Yeah, I'm flying out in the morning. What are you doing? You going to Vegas to buy the Raiders? Going to Vegas to see my mother. To oh, see my mother. That's adorable, dude. Yeah, whatever. Are you going to gamble? Right. No, I hate it. I hate gambling. That's her. Nope. Yes, it is. No, it's not, dude. I went to visually similar similar images and found a different person. <laughs> no, let me see that. That's, that's That is her, that dude. That is not her. That's a different person. <laughs> You just go to you go to here. Here's how you do it. You go to Sandra Bland. No, dude, that was her. No, it wasn't phrase. here. You go to visually similar images, and then you find somebody that's not her. That was her, dude. No, it wasn't. Yeah, sorry, keep talking. I don't want to have just <laughs> fucking silence on the um, show. Anyhow, you failed the test. I didn't fail the test. Yes, you did. I think that's her. Yeah, no, it's not her. You're basically Grand Wizard of this podcast, bro. Dude, I'm David yeah. fucking Duke. Well, that's just my point. Is that you know they don't. I think that was her. It wasn't. I'm telling you. I want to. Well, we'll find out later. No, you go vision. That's the trick. This is I, I do this with people all the time. <laughs> this is why I got my metro card taken away. <laughs> you got your metro card taken away? No. <laughs> I got a new Supreme. This is why I'm not allowed at the library anymore. <laughs> you got the Supreme drop, dude. I got the Supreme metro card. Why do people give a fuck about that? I don't know, but there were what's insane the, lines. What's, what's the Supreme? You metro know the card? hypebeast streetwear brand Supreme? Yeah. They they did a collab with the MTA, so you can get uh, a. First Supreme. of all, why the fuck can't the MTA do a collab with the construction workers that have to finish the fucking trains? Yeah, <laughs> why are they right? doing this gay shit? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck is that? Or like clean? No, shit this up. is I'm fucking livid. <laughs> I I feel the same uh, exact what way. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> The trains the never exactly fucking way. work, which I would I would understand if they were just completely incompetent. But they're like, oh yeah, we got you know I don't even know who that. Why is. do the trains suck so much? Like you Japan don't need, trains are awesome. It's because dude. the trains here suck because they built the trains in eighteen twelve, right? And they yeah. haven't updated the technology. Yeah. So they all run on. They're all like uh, electrically switched. So there's no like computer that controls all the trains. It's like 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 you know a fucking light yeah, switch. Yeah, but why is the shit so dirty, dude? Japan, you can fucking eat off the floors, dude. Probably from all the brake material that's accumulated down there. You know, every time they they apply the brakes, if they're not electric brakes, and they use some sort of like abrasive it goes, pad, Wee! yeah, it kicks up fucking brake material. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, it's... My uh, favorite is when they just drive those diesel trains through the station. It's like, <laughs> yeah, there's no way to vent that <laughs> yeah. exhaust fume. That's cool. That they're, <laughs> yeah, MTA workers all uh, go deaf because yeah. of like the, the, screeching. the screeching. Really? Yeah. They all have to file for workers' comp. Jesus Christ. After working like down in the tunnels for 30, 40 years. God damn, dude. And they're all deaf. They're like, you know... Can we know, file for workers' people. comp? <laughs> Death for, more for irony poisoning. Um, we've been in the podcast minds for a while now, dude. This I don't know who we would, we would file. We would file Nick. With Nick. I don't know. We'd have to take that up in the next union meeting. <laughs> yeah, when's the next one, dude? I don't know. I don't want to say in front of Nick. Oh, okay, dude. Would you get scabs if we if we went on strike? Well, I incorporated this business actually in Texas, so this is you're not <laughs> employed in a right to work state. So, <laughs> so Rick Perry has got your back, dude. <laughs> What other fat guy, Jewish guy, would you fucking replace us with, dude? As um, really? Yeah, uh, should we do the who would I have to who would I replace you guys with if I had to? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Jim yeah. Norton and Anthony Cumia. Oh, oh fuck, man, dude. Super, dude, there's gonna the be super a, group. <laughs> yeah. There's gonna be a Reddit uh, post. Opie and Anthony. <laughs> yeah. the, show, the show's just called Opie and Anthony, <laughs> and it's me, Jim Norton, and Anthony Cumia. <laughs> There's gonna be a the post. ghost of Patrice yeah, O'Neill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's gonna be a post on the subreddit that's like, Nick said he, w- he Nick said if Adam, if it wasn't for Nick, uh, Stavin, he would have had Anthony Cumia. We gotta fucking get them out of there so we can have dude, our boys why back you, together. Why are you talking shit on the subreddit, dude? I haven't looked at the subreddit in months, but yeah, sure you have. Yes, of course you. I have. <laughs> <laughs> Don't read the subreddit. Yeah. There's one guy that loves me. Let of me course. tell you. Yeah, uh, I bet people like will text me and it'll be numbers I don't know, and they'll be like, "Let me get Adam's address." And like, <laughs> people always ask me for your phone number, yeah. And I give them the Home Depot in uh, in uh, Bed Stuy. That's hilarious. Yeah, that's pretty. Good. I always give them the Home Depot. That's a good. Bed-Stuy. That's a good yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually give people your address. <laughs> well, yeah. People ask me to, to fuck me, and I say yes. Yeah, yeah. That's what I get the most of. Well, there's just some guy that thinks that I'm the N word. Let me tell you. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. There was Full a gay guy art. that Facebook messaged me and was like, "Hey, I know you're probably straight, but if you if uh, you wanted me to suck you off, I totally would." Well, that's cool. It's pretty cool, right? Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Made me feel good. I love that. That's you like, got my that's message. the thing bros <laughs> complain about. Huh? That's like exactly the thing bros complain about. About they're gay like, guys? yeah, they're like, you know. I, I don't fucking care if you're gay, dude, but just don't hit on me. <laughs> yeah. And then people are like, uh, gay guys don't do that. <laughs> oh, they do that. Yeah, I, well, I guess the bros were right. We should have listened to them. We should have elected Bernie Sanders. So yeah. bro, bro, that was bro like resident, <laughs> bro resident of the bro That was the main states. plank of his... Uh, of his platform if you hit on yeah if you you could be gay but don't hit on me don't hit on me or you get fucked up uh, if you're a homosexual that's fine don't try to touch my dick <laughs> hands off and cool it with the makeup yeah no more cross dressing being trans is bad adam's playing with a candle right now it's a beeswax candle. Well, it seems to me. Hey, you know what? How about it's none of your beeswax candles? Oh, you, you motherfucker. I'm focusing on the tacit hand. Dude, focusing. yeah, you didn't say a homophobic Bernie Sanders thing. Oh, uh, uh, the, if you can take a dick, around. you can take a joke. <laughs> Go ahead. If we let them get married, next we're going to be trying to get married to dogs. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Where does it end? <laughs> Where <laughs> does it end? Where do you draw the line? He just sounds like Rodney Dangerfield. Yeah, it kind of is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 75%. I got no respect for gays. No respect at all. <laughs> <laughs> Every impression we do ends up at Rodney at some point. That's the Chinese, not true. The Chinese guy, no do we respect. Do, do we do Chinese Rodney Dangerfield already? I think we definitely but There's have. no way we haven't. Yeah. No respect. I yeah, specifically yeah. remember no respect. Yeah, yeah, I've done that. <laughs> yeah. I've done that for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we really need to get some racist. That's why I combo. encourage, man. That's why I get pissed off that we're like not funding NASA anymore. I was watching Star Trek the other day, and it's like we need new races to stereotype. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's true. you know how much funnier your life would be if there was some like blue fucking floating elephant bitch <laughs> that you had to interact with every day that guy from episode one yeah and whatever his race is wait Q. I also, no he was from episode one right he puts no. him on trial no you fucking asshole sorry star wars oh star oh, yeah, wars yeah, the the Jews. Jews. Yes. Anarchy. yeah which by the way you don't 
There's no more of that guy in the movie. Yeah. He's the only one of those things. Jewish elephant yeah, bird? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you never probably. There's up. no other. There's, there's, there's no, no soldier one of those. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. He's only that guy. It's, he's just, You'd so have you to go to the, space pawn shops uh, to find yeah, other yeah, ones yeah. of those. Yeah, yeah, they own junkyards and pawn shops. <laughs> right. Why don't we That's see more of species. his race? <laughs> I really hope J.J. Abrams has gets his own spinoff. <laughs> and Rogue Two, that Jew elephant thing. Teaches Hebrew school. Rogue Two, colon, the Jew elephant <laughs> thing race. <laughs> I have a chance cube. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you cheated. You knew the boy would win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that guy was awesome. God, that movie. That would sucked. cure racism if we had new one alien well, race. Whatever that race was, to. we wouldn't have any time to dislike any other race. Absolutely not. We all had to deal with that blue floating elephant so, yeah. guy. If that guy ran your bodega, <laughs> God, I would hate him. <laughs> yeah. That guy would really like black teens. You cheat me, you fuck. <laughs> I give you a cigarette yesterday, you say you pay today, but you do not. <laughs> His fucking like uh, blue tusk dick just uh, flapping at you as he gets angry. Get out of my store. Get the fuck out. <laughs> listen to me, motherfucker. <laughs> you motherfucker, listen to me. <laughs> Uh, fuck my ass cheeks. Yeah, they do that a lot, I guess. Like, nobody knows what the fuck Yoda was. Yoda? Just a little green guy. Well, Yoda His used to talk like a, like a Hasidic Jew. Yeah, but they he... don't even tell you what Yoda's race is, you know? Right. Oh, they don't give a name for it. Yeah, right. Yeah, because yeah, that's because when it first started, they didn't know it would be a fucking industry to just make up all this fucking bullshit. Yeah, but they said Wookiee, you know? Yeah, they knew what Wookiees were. I guess that's true. They really, there was zero thought put into Star Wars. No, no. It's thing. crazy yeah. how fucking successful yeah, it was. Yeah, George Lucas is like, I created a multifaceted universe. It's like, no, you barely did any work at all. What else has George Lucas done? Howard the Duck? American Graffiti. American Graffiti. Is that good? Yeah. yeah. It's it good. actually is. Yeah, it's it's good. better than Star Wars. It's a lot better than Star Wars. That's the thing is you make one good movie and then you're allowed to make... Every director makes one movie that means something to them so that they can immediately sell out yeah. and make a complete piece of shit <laughs> and live off of it for the rest of their life and Hell have yeah, their dude. original work, which was legitimately pretty good, yeah. completely overshadowed by the world's biggest fucking paycheck. <laughs> that seems tight, dude. Yeah. Who, yeah. who else made a good movie? Like what? what like Jaws? Spielberg? Spielberg made a lot of good movies, though, yeah, didn't Spielberg he? Spielberg makes good movies. I'm trying to think of somebody that made a piece of shit movie that prior to that was good what do you mean like you know a lot of people so we were yeah, throwing but i mean like no, somebody no. that's known for their piece of shit movie like lucas so like, like like james cameron yeah okay. james cameron's a good example that's a good yeah. what was his best oh yeah terminator terminator yeah and then all of them since then yeah everything since except then. except the scene in titanic where you see titties avatar yeah, very cool dick. Uh, Stav likes that scene because drawing is happening. Yeah. Because he likes art. He's I love gaming. art, dude. I'm, yeah. Yeah, I'm a Dude, he's beating off to the drawing, not the, <laughs> not the breast. The drawing of the city. Look at, dude, he's looking at the jewelry. <laughs> Just you and your friends all beating off to a 20, 20 inch TV screen watching Titanic. Yo, look at Stav. He's beating off to the jewelry because he's gay. Did you guys ever have group beat off parties? Of course. Yeah. What, really? Yeah, yeah, of course. Middle school. See, that's yeah. the gay shit I never did. Because you really? didn't have friends. Nobody no, wanted dude. to beat off with you. How dare you, dude? I was very beat off. Basically, my, my fucking, my middle school experience was like boogie nights, you know, where we're all just, <laughs> there's someone fucking on the floor and we're all watching <laughs> and, uh, you know, Stav's going around going, have you seen my wife? <laughs> <laughs> I was married. It was an arranged marriage. Yeah. She was a Greek a real villager. Porn star. What was her name? She's like Heather a, Graham. No, 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 no. The guy, uh, William H Macy's wife. Oh, I don't remember. Yeah. Um, she's Julianne like, Moore. Whatever. She was a real <laughs> porn star. Yeah, yeah. What did you guys beat off to in a group setting? Where take it me. wasn't like we all, like you know took uh, turns. Julianne Moore insisted that her they had to like carry duct tape around all the time on these like inversion boards because she uh, was so method that she would only do every scene in that movie with her pussy filled to the brim with cum <laughs> <laughs> so they would fill julianne moore's pussy yeah the whole staff you know because the pussy actually holds a lot more cum than you think it does. Oh, really? oh a ton yeah so everyone would have leader. to come into her and then they would duct tape her pussy shot wow and then flip the inversion board around and she's like 
I'm ready to act. She just she slept like Batman upside down, like LL Cool J, mm-hmm. <laughs> to keep the mm-hmm. to keep the cum as deep inside of her as possible. Yeah, did you guys see Don't Breathe? No. I know I've never that seen shit's it. Good, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I hear it's great. There's yeah. a, there's a scene where the bad guy has the girl like uh, hung up on like uh, stirrups or whatever. Uh huh. Because uh, the the premise is is this old like blind marine and these like hooligans break into his house to you know rob him or whatever, and. Uh, they go to the basement, you know, because he's, like, fighting back. They think he's blind. He's not going to be able to do anything. But, you know, he locks him in the house. And they get down to the basement, and they find uh, he's got this girl in prison down there. Oh, shit. Because, uh, yeah, he, his daughter was killed by the girl. Whoa. And the girl was, like, a rich girl. And he's like, you know, I want my fucking daughter back. The courts aren't going to, you know, do anything. And so he had been saving all of his cum, and he impregnated the other girl. What? Yeah, and then so the other girl dies, but then the girl that broke into the house, he has her tied up. And there's, like, a scene where he's just walking towards her menacingly while she's all, like, restrained, and he's got a turkey baster just filled, what? filled with his cum. <laughs> That's in a movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's cool. Dude, it's awesome. <laughs> It's fucking awesome. Holy fuck. How do you get that made? <laughs> just, it's 2017, dude. That's, that's, that's uh, look, dude, we have a podcast called Come Town. What do you think they I, use? I, I literally just p- uh, penciled a deal with Nickelodeon. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. For us? Yeah. We're going to do GAC. Instead. We're bringing GAC back, but it's cum. <laughs> yeah. It's slime. What? It's clear. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I love cross promotion yeah. and branding, guys. <laughs> um, it's a Nickelodeon guts, but it's Nickelodeon get up in them guts. <laughs> get all oh. up in them guts. <laughs> What's the fucking... what's the temple one? What's that show called? Temple Legends of the Hidden Legends temple. Of the temple. Legends of the Hidden Temple. Legends. Um, Pussy of the Hidden. Legends penis. of the burying my ten pole. Tent pole. Great legends. Uh, of, I, I give you give, Leg- get legends head. of hiding my tent pole. Yeah, put my dick so far in your mouth it's in your temple. Yeah, that's, that's good. Close. That's really good. Uh, come on your face and get some on your temple. No, <laughs> this one's gone off the rails. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to get Temple in the mix. You know, how about this? It's completely different, but instead of Favo goes west, it's Favo grows breasts. <laughs> it's about a trans mouse, trans Jewish mouse. Uh, grows breasts. Milo, <laughs> Milo grows breasts. <laughs> Milo grows breasts. It's about a trans rat. If Milo became a woman and then said that she liked to fuck 13-year-old boys, everyone would think it pretty cool. Yeah. Right? Well, you, the only reason, like, I, a lot of people get away with saying the shit that Milo says, and it's, like, not an issue. It's just you have to be, like, a fucking artist or something. People were looking right. for a reason to fucking hate Milo, which there were already plenty of Hell reasons yeah, to hate Milo. Yeah, yeah. You know, to act like this is, you know, conservatives are going to pretend like this is where he drew the line. They're almost having to do it, like, out of principle mm-hmm. because they went after Lena Dunham for saying she molested her sister. She exactly. put rocks in her sister's pussy yeah, she, or whatever yeah right um, seems pretty cool yeah which you find a cool rock at the ocean you want to save it yeah yeah and yeah. if you if you don't have any pockets you put in your little sister's pussy yeah, yeah. a pussy is like a pocket it's basically a natural right. pocket. women are like mar- so thing, marsupials yeah, lena dunham's pussy was already filled mm-hmm. with rocks or else she yeah. would have fucking i mean gore vidal fucking like admitted that he you know was attracted to like adolescent boys and shit like mm-hmm. you know like pederasty is a thing that's pretty fucking common among weird prominent fringe people Mm -hmm. i'd say and politicians and shit oh yeah sure yeah Uh, i love and uh coaches for penn state football that's true yeah oh yeah how about Mm -hmm. his His son son. getting that's uh, the family business (laughs) no when i (laughs) thought you meant football i know what you did last (laughs) summer too plot (laughs) i bet i know who it is yeah (laughs) i know i know who you did last summer (laughs) oh fuck um well, you guys did gloss over, though, your group beat-off sessions. The closest I ever got was one time it was a sleepover at my friend Phil's house. He was the first one to get Napster, so we were downloading cool songs like uh, Because I Got High. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, a cool song. And he was the first person who showed me E-Bombs World. And I remember people beating off to this picture of a, of a girl in a nun costume, but you could see her pussy. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, I've seen that just one. Kinda, yeah. Classic. And everyone kind of took turns beating off. Sound to that. of music, right? So, so you had a group beat. I off never session. beat off. I found it weird. Um, well, yeah, we took turns going to the bathroom to jack off to a fucking porn magazine that my friend stole. Okay. Where yeah. was it? No, uh, so me and my friends, we found this book in the library that had like skulls all over it and snakes, and then like the writing was all this weird Latin text, and we used to gather around it and light candles and yeah, jack yeah. off onto it. 
and that's where the uh, well, you know, in like the in the Third Reich, all the ancient runes, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. those were summoned by jacking off onto them with your friends, Whoa. and that's really kind of where I became racist. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> was through those uh, uh, circle jerk sessions over the Necronomicon. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck. Did you ever? Where Where did you? So it was your friend whose house? My friend Alex's house. Alex. Yeah, and then they were like, were "What's being, Alex's last name? Can we look him up?" Uh, no. What's he doing? Uh, he's. A, Where's he work? He's a ambulance chaser, an ambul- attorney. An, an attorney at what law firm? Uh, if people want to call up the office and let people know that. He so was, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> my friends were you know sort of sim- in a similar way to how I'm still bullied as a 30 year old man by you guys, <laughs> but <laughs> my friends were accusing me of not being able to come because really? I was a late bloomer. So I were remember. you able to come? I remember, yeah, I could come. I remember they were like, you can't come. And I was like, I fucking come. Did they watch come. you come? No. So then I like had to go to the bathroom. They had a fucking a, a magnifying glass over Adam's <laughs> dick while he beat off. Like, they you all, fucking liar. He's not coming. They all laid under a glass table and waited for the come to hit the yeah. glass table. No, I like, came that sounds on. sounds cool, dude. <laughs> I came on the magazine. That sounds pretty cool. You came on the magazine? And then my friend got mad at me and tried to fight really? me that I came on his magazine. But I was like... And then they kept saying like... You only get one of these Highlights magazines a week. <laughs> Are you going to fucking ruin it like that? Yeah. You owe my dad $4.82. Yeah, yeah. I used to get Disney magazine. Some little shit. It was pretty cool. <laughs> what the fuck? To jack off? Why should you get Disney magazine? <laughs> I don't know, man. My mom got it once. It was pretty cool. I used to read it as a child. <laughs> I got SI. I got SI for kids. What the fuck is in Disney magazine? I don't know exactly. Hey, Brett Lion King, remember that? Yeah. Pretty good, huh? <laughs> well, anyhow. It was like a small, <laughs> it was like very small, it was like a mini booklet type shit. Um, the only thing I was subscribed to as a kid was Jet. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I love Jet. Dude. I re- subscribe to Black Man. <laughs> it's, I remember my. I used to have it framed. I, I clipped the article. Is Martin the next Malcolm X? <laughs> is Martin Lawrence the next Malcolm X? And I have that clipped and framed. Yeah, you know, yeah. And it turned out he was. Yeah. And me and my friends, y'all used to jack off to Jet Magazine. <laughs> Where to, did you do your jacking off? Your formative group jacking off? No, my friend's house. Which one? That rich one. In his no, big basement. no, it was our, uh, a different friend's house, and he had like uh, he was the only person that had like high speed internet. He Hell had like, broadband yeah, dude. internet. Dude, wow! And so, well, no, then my other friend he found a, uh, it's, I, and I don't know how so many people have these stories, but he found a porn DVD in the woods. <laughs> Yeah, that's like a yeah. classic trope. It was always it was initially the woods like yeah, take with turns porn. speeding off to it, and then eventually it was like you know everybody. It's a towel. Don't look because it's it's a fucking matter of simplicity. You just don't want to. So many little kid dicks out at the same time. Not they were underneath. Oh, underneath the towel. Yeah, we would all share a towel. <laughs> <laughs> and look, your hand your hand wanders a little bit from your dick. No big deal. You yeah. know, take a Do couple. You remember pumps. that? It was prior to Reddit. I think it was like a Craigslist post. It was like a viral thing, like 15 years ago. Some guy that was like. Uh, Looking for other guys to come over and, uh, or maybe his like wife caught him. I forget the context, but it was like a guy that like used to, you know, have group JO sessions with his friends. Oh yeah, dude. Uh-huh. And has now an adult man that was married with kids, like wanted to recreate that. <laughs> so he was looking for other men to come over and like, they would play Super Mario Brothers on like Nintendo NES. Holy <laughs> shit. That and guy was would molested all, as hell. Then they would all jack off with each other and call each other gay or whatever. <laughs> like that's what he was like looking for. I guess he got caught by his wife. That something. guy definitely got raped by one of his friends in childhood, right? Why do you stay there? Yeah, I don't know. Or you're just gay and or Well, it was a matter of it's like, you know, like any of the other bullshit things you do. It was like, "Ooh, I want to recreate having a curfew." That was like a shitty restriction that was placed on you. Right, 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 right. Jack off as a group. Cuz when I when I when Kaza oh, came, yes. came out, that was the fucking end of that it was shit. It's incredible, of course. Yeah. I yeah. you know, there was no cuz I dial up so there was no way to download anything big, but with like peer to peer shit, you could just turn off the internet and come back to it. And you do it overnight. You wake it. up, beat off right before school. Yeah, you know what I mean. Thank God my mom didn't learn computers until after, uh, after like I think I was in like college or high school. So middle school, my mom didn't understand computers at all, and I just fucking let cause I fly, baby. Mm-hmm. Oh, I got in trouble. I got caught downloading. Yeah. 
What'd you DL? On the family computer. Dude, my cousin was so brash with that shit. I remember his mom was sitting right next to him, just like the computer's here. She's like on the phone like this, and he's just like downloading porn. Like, right <laughs> at the, the, we're like 11, and I'm like, Jesus Christ, dude. You know, it's like some Asian woman just getting fucked in her ass, and I'm like, hey, you're going to get in trouble. <laughs> he's like, I don't fucking care. <laughs> You had she a like lot. turned away. Yeah. You had a lot of fucking sociopath my, children yeah, in I, your life. Dude. The way I did it, it was like there were, first of all, there was another kid. He had a key, and we had to turn them at the same, at the same time. time. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Was yeah. The there was a way. retinal scan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude, that was like one of the reasons I learned how to use Linux. So I could hide porn on my computer. <laughs> There you uh, go. Fuck. Yeah. Just have, have the computer boot up to a fucking completely, uh, 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 you know, intimidating. Yeah. And shit's so weird. Cryptic fucking command line interface. Just I so s- my mom would, you know. <laughs> Did you literally do that? Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was one of the reasons. Yeah. Of course. Of course. I don't know Linux at The all. most powerful motivation in what in, in any... It, anyone's life is to come is to come for mm-hmm. sure right and I, I thought that that would die down after adolescence but it's still you know continued that's yeah. why to this that's well why they, you know they thought the moon was a titty that's why we went to <laughs> that's the why they went there and then oh, we yeah. got there and it was like this isn't a titty at all not, a, not they, now space is gay <laughs> that's you know? why that's why we haven't been to space since dude yeah well, they told everybody men are from Mars and women are from Venus. You can't go to Venus. It's fucked up, you know, and that's why nobody gives a shit about going to Mars. Yeah, dude. Except right. gay guys. That's why oh. That's why Elon Musk. That's why Musk. everyone, Elon Musk, uh, Peter Thiel. Uh, Elon Musk is gay? Yeah. Pretty much. Well, he's, he's got a gay name, so. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. It's yeah. basically being gay. Um, no, I, I feel like see, I feel like all of tech is like evil gay men. Yeah, yeah, autistic. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, I don't gay think villains. I don't <laughs> think Elon. I don't know if he's I'm gay. gay, and I don't think I should be allowed to get married. <laughs> there are, in fact, lesser races, and I'm glad I can't procreate, so I don't accidentally create one. Uh, fuck yeah, dude. <clears throat> I love yeah, Elon evil Musk. Villain. Elon Musk is like uh, they're all they're all the bad guy from. Uh, what was that the second uh, Daniel Craig? Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fucking uh, the gay one. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. What's yeah. his name? Um, uh, um, I can't. I don't know the guy Anthony from Bourdain's name who's popping in my head. The guy from fucking uh, Javier, Javier Bardem. Bardem. Bardem yeah. yeah, that was a good bad guy. Yeah. Well, he's he's. I want guy. to fuck your mission yeah. bomb. <laughs> yeah. I have a tooth that I suck out. And the tooth is made out of cum. <laughs> <laughs> don't put it in your pocket. <laughs> Or it will become just another gum. <laughs> Which it is. <laughs> I can't do Javier, dude. Kids are I think if I, yeah, do you just do Bane? Yeah. <laughs> he's he can he can he's pretty easy. Sometimes I'm bad at voices, dude. Yeah. Except for my fucking spot on uh Call it. I don't know. The don't only know voice I'm good at is Eric, my friend. I can't give out no information. <laughs> Oh, uh, that movie did suck, though, right? Overall, what? that James Bond movie. Oh yeah, with Javier. No, that yeah, one well, was I good. See, I love the scene where they no Casino Royale was good. Oh, that was the good one. Yeah, I like the one where he goes back to his family house. Skyfall. Yeah. Uh, Skyfall was better than Spectre Sp- and the other one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, yeah, we're out of time. So that's the episode. We Bye, gotta bitch. go do the live Caroline show, so that'll give you an idea of how early we pre-recorded this one. <laughs> When this goes up, the day of Stav's funeral. <laughs> what if I do die, dude? I'm, I would be so fucking happy. <laughs> Me too. I would love it. Honestly, I would too. I hope you die. Me and I, I hope I have a solid alibi after saying this. <laughs> When you're Nick killed me. If I'm dead, right. Nick killed me. Somebody beats you over the head with a PlayStation, <laughs> and there's a bunch of cat hair in the wound. And they're like, who, who could have done this? My dick is cut off by a saw. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, bye. All right, bitches. <laughs>